Now, even though maggots found here at the Parnell Correctional Facility in Jackson back in June and maggots found down the road at the Egler Guidance and Reception Center weren't linked between inmate illness and those maggots that were found, they prompted responses by Republican Governor Rick Snyder saying they need to look into the Philadelphia company Airmark and that contract, as well as his challenger, Mark Schauer, in the upcoming election saying he thinks they need to terminate the contract with Airmark. So we went to attempt to reach Airmark by phone today and Skype interview to have them finally address these concerns and where they go from here. But once again, they say this is a political issue and they're not playing a role in it. Again, they referred to a written statement saying it is a well-orchestrated campaign by special interest groups and we are not interested in participating in an ongoing political and media circus about anti-privatization. Correctional officers are very concerned about private prisons, but we also are concerned about private vendors in the prisons because it needs to be safe and secure. Executive Director Mel Griesheber says he's still receiving daily concerns about prisoner unrest with Airmark employees and food substitution. And even though Airmark has promised a third party auditor to come in and check the prisons, Michigan Correction Organization and Mel Griesheber say they're sticking to their status quo that Airmark needs to go and not but the Department of Corrections says they're still waiting to see how those audits go and how the prison inspections go. Russ Marlin told me that this clearly, though, is not political. They have issues and Airmark needs to handle it. In Lansing, Nick Perot, 6 News.